Chinese President Xi Jinping, during his address at the SEO summit, uh, stressed the need for unity and cooperation and called for regional leaders to take charge of their own country's futures and also uh, pledged to work with SEO member states to oppose protectionism, um, a unilateral uh, sanctions, and extension of the national security concept uh, in a bid to accelerate the regional economic recovery. He also proposed the establishment of the organization's own development bank and to promote digital currency cooperation. Uh, in addition to that, President Xi also called for strengthening uh, cooperation on the Belt and Road Initiative, uh, trade and investment liberalization and facilitation, and for uh, acceleration of port infrastructure and development as well. Uh, he said more efforts are needed to construct international logistic channels uh, in order to ensure stable and smooth supply chains uh, for regional industries. He also invited all parties uh, of the SEO to the Belt and Road International Cooperation Summit Forum, which is expected to be held uh, later this year, uh, to jointly ensure the initiative benefits the world wider and further. That's all for me. Back to you. There were some other talking points at the summit, weren't there, including uh, Russia and Iran. Uh, what can you tell us about those? Yeah, as you just mentioned, uh, one of the highlights is, of course, the Putin's uh, speech, because that uh, is his first appearance at an international forum since the Wagner fallout. Uh, he said that the Moscow planned to boost ties with SCO and supported the transition to local currencies for trade settlement. He also warned that the potential for conflicts and the risk of global economic crisis were on the rise. And also, Putin thanked the member of the SCO group, who he said, had expressed uh, their support for his efforts to protect the constitutional order, uh, the lives and the security of citizens, and also told them that Russia would stand up against Western pressure, sanctions and provocations imposed over Russia-Ukraine conflict. Uh, and another biggest highlight, of course, is the Iran's uh, inclusion. Um, as we know that the organization has uh, set, has officially ushered in Iran as its new member. And that expansion uh, is very significant because that means for the first time the organization has extended its influence to the Persian Gulf region, which is a landmark for the future advancement of the SCO. And according to an expert that I've spoken to, the SCO and Iran is expected uh, are expected to form an interactive and win-win situation where both sides can shape each other, uh, realizing mutual develop. Uh, and it, when it comes to China-Iran ties, as we know that the two sides has formed uh, a comprehensive strategic partnership. And uh, it is widely believed that this relationship will also be strengthened under the SCO framework in the future.